this is Maria Rieger, your resident Gemini. I'm doing a quick post-mortem of Scorpio season, which ended recently, and I have a special free gift for you guys. So, I don't know about you, but it was a rough Scorpio season for me. Uh, my my kid's birthday is in November. He's a Scorp, as you know. Um, that was not the rough part. That was the, the great part. He's 14 now, well into the throes of teenagerdom. So it is a whole different dynamic parenting a teen than it is parenting an elementary school child. Uh, but it is great because teens are really forming their sense of self and their belief system. So it is an extremely important time. And it's almost like the parent has to be on call, you know, like give the teen their space but be available if they need to talk about anything or want to share anything with you or ask for guidance. So it's this interesting balance of giving them the space that they need, the privacy that they are, they need to think about things for themselves, but also be emotionally available and present. But uh, it's, a, it's a fun time. So Scorpio season, it's the season of transformation, the season of death and rebirth. I always say, right, metaphorical death and rebirth. So if you had a transformative experience if you had kind of a rebirthing process that's pretty consistent with Scorpio season of course we just came out of eclipse season and when that happens when the eclipse happens when the sun is in Scorpio that obviously brings a more transformative uh, experience and aspect to the dynamics of what's going on with the planets right so yeah if it was rough for you it's okay i have the feeling talking with people that it was kind of rough for everybody myself included that's why i didn't really post a lot of content so um i really had to go inside myself to figure some things out so we are now well into sagittarius season looking forward to that and soon obviously it will be christmas so that's all great, and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. I promise I will be posting more content very, uh, very soon within the next few days. And I am taking requests, so I know a lot of you have made requests. I am getting to all of them in the order in which I receive them. Now, on top of all that, I have a free gift for you guys. I am speaking at the Be and Become Summit on December 14th and 15th. It is a completely virtual summit. We're going to go over some great topics, empowerment, authenticity, uh, transformation, all of these things, leadership. So my topic I'm speaking on is uh, why your traumatic childhood positions you to be the best parent possible. And I'm going to share a brief like 10 to 20 second transformative exercise that you can do to calm down immediately before you emotionally overreact and connect with your children. Because if you're like me, right, the the biggest hallmark, and this is what Bessel van der Kolk talks about in his book, The Body Keeps a Score, the biggest hallmark of childhood abuse is emotional dysregulation. When the child grows up into an adult, they're emotionally dysregulated. They're overly reactive. And that is the biggest thing that I see that affects negatively our relationship with our kids. So I'm very excited about the topic. Other topics include how to transform your life through sobriety, how to access the Akashic Records to harness your personal growth, how to live authentically, how to be an effective leader, a lot of really, really good topics. You can register for free using my personal link in the video description below. Even if you could only attend one or two sessions, it will be worth your while. So that's my gift to you. I hope you uh, you come uh, uh, listen to my talk and see us there and take advantage of these resources. Again, you can register for free using my personal link below for the conference. And I will be back very soon, I promise, with uh, a lot of new content.